Hey everybody, I'm Jason Crone here with Fit for Biz Mobile Fitness, and thank you guys for watching. Um, today we're going to focus on the Virtua Gym food app that I have my clients using. I really appreciate you guys tracking your food and keeping track and showing me your food intake every week and talking more about that. Because I know I send you a program with the nutrition for your week and the meal plan, and I really want to show you how to use this app so you can keep track of your food and not worry about trying to calculate calories and also protein, carbs, and fat. The app will do it for you. So the first thing is you need to download the food app from the Virtua Gym uh, selection on the Google Play Store. So let's show you again on another video where I showed Google, uh, the Virtua Gym Fitness app, uh, home tracking app. That was on the Google Play Store as well. But today is it all about the food app. So right here, as you see, is your Google Play Store. You're going to click on that. And what happens is you're going to see Virtua Gym. You're going to type in up here. So I'm going to type in Virtua, V-I-R-T-U-A. And it's already popping up for me, Virtua Gym Food. You click on that right there. And it's a little apple. It's the first one that pops up. It's a small apple like so. And it's going to say open for me because I already downloaded it. So this is a very simple app to use. On the phone it works just as good. This is an Android uh, tablet. But I don't have an Android phone. It works really well with iPhone as well. Because iPhone has uh, it automatically links to the software. As well as your Google Fit will actually, um, if you download Google Fit and use a Fitbit or anything to go to Google Fit, then you automatically have all your information in the software app for fitness. And if you do nutrition, it's um, going to be from more of your own input. So the first thing is, I'll show you the features of this. There's a barcode scanner right here where you can scan your food. So you could actually scan your food. So I was going to ask me, allow, I have to allow it to scan a food. See, right now you can't see, but it's looking at my printer over here. And um, that's actually used to barcode scan your food automatically. So it will tell you how many uh, calories are in the food. And it has a lot of different food inputted. So I'm going to hit the back button. Then if you want to, instead of actually doing that, you could search. You click on little uh, bars over here. And then you can say food list, dairy, food list, performance, progress, achievements, and my plan. You can have your plan in here as well, automatically built into it. So with my plan on the list here, you're going to click on that to start. Um, the main thing is you want to input your data. As you see right here, it says carbohydrates, 50%. Proteins, 25%. Fats, 25%. Once you input your data on the My Fitness app, the tracking app, you can put your height, your age, and your weight in there. And it will take that information according to your activity level and give you a breakdown of how many calories you should take in. So I had say 168 um, and also... I have my weight is 168, it says 3,279 calories, and my goal date to gain weight, I'm trying to gain weight, it's like 175, is 6 to 2019 And that's according to all of my information, but I can edit that information up here as well. So I can edit up top, there's a little uh, area where I could edit. So I'll go back and show you one more time. So I can edit right there, there's a little pencil, click on edit. I'm going to put in my birth date, put in my height, and I'm putting my weight. And then I'm going to hit the go button right here. So I'm going to go. And next it shows, it says hours of sleep a night, six hours I said. Kind of job, standing, average work, uh, five days a week, eight hours per day. Then in my free time, I'm very active. Uh, excluding sports activities or including uh, this is excluding sports activities 
but I am very active and do some sports as well, martial arts. And then also it says weight gain. I want to gain 8 pounds. And then it says at 168, 16 weeks, 0.5 pounds a week as recommended. And I go from there. It calculates. Comes right to the screen like I was just at. Nutrition plan, build muscle. Carbohydrates, protein, and fats to break down. And it tells me my ideal weight, how many calories. And then I track my food. And I'll show you how to track your food. This is a really great app to do that. And then you start tracking your food. And then also a food list. For my clients, I already sent them a um, PDF version of their meal plan. So all they got to do is follow the foods on their meal plan for the week and automatically find them on here and input those foods for the calorie content. And it should be very close to the calorie content that I gave them. So if you want to eat whole eggs, for instance, click on whole eggs. You can put in the grams and then you go from there, one gram, two grams, eight grams, depending on how much a tablespoon is eight grams. And then you can go through that, input it, and then it will save what food you ate. I'm going to hit cancel right now because I'm not saving anything. And it goes all the way down, different types of foods. You can even search as well for your food. So you can actually add a food in here. You press the add button where my finger is. There's a little add button right there. And you can add a food or you can input a food again like I just showed you. Or you can search. Hit the search. Type in a food. I'll just say, uh, say hypothetically beets. Randomness. But, oops. So... Beef, instead of, instead of beef, I just typed it wrong, but it's called a beef. So you see beef, top, sirloin, steak, and then you can hit save. You found it. It was one piece, and then you could hit save. I'm going to hit cancel because we're not inputting it. So automatically, it, you can search for your food, or you can find your food, or you can scan your food. And then when it's all done, you can see how many calories are actually in the food. I haven't inputted any food yet, so, but as you see... Once you input your food, it will give you a list of protein, carbs, and fat, the macronutrients, and then you'll be all set, and your trainer can see on his end the macronutrients. Not the food food you inputted, but the macronutrients. You're going to have to show him the food. But if it is like me, for my clients, they get the food uh, meal plan, so I know what they're consuming, and they can choose from different foods. So that is actually how to use the food app made by Virtua Gym. The one thing good about the fitness app and also the nutrition app, they both link together, which is awesome. Because on the nutrition app, like I was just showing you, you can click on here up top. And it says copy this day to or add activity. If you click on add activity, it goes directly to the Virtue Gym fitness app that I showed you in the last video, which is a really cool concept. I'm Jason Cronin, um, here from Fit for Biz Mobile Fitness. I thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, call me um, and on my website, which is fitforbizmobilefitness.com. I'll see you next time, and have a great day. Keep fit well, and track your food, track your fitness, and you'll do great. Thanks. Have a great day.